Well guys, it's time to try to get some work done on this old 6.2 liter project truck. And what I had to do, I'm really, the only thing I like to be able to put the cab back on here is getting the starter back on. But I've got some wiring issues. As you can see, these are the uh, fusible links that were on there. And one of the problems I had was when I was driving it was every now and then it would lose power. And you can kind of see why, man. I hope you can see why. But uh, as you can see, they, this one's got two power wires. This one's got one. And then this one is the uh, starter wire coming from the switch and as you can see it's all buggered up so what I got to do is change out these fusible links and I think instead of going from three to two to one like they got factory I'm going to put three in here each one will have a separate link to it and uh, just looking around on this wire and you know if you can tell See if I can zoom in, maybe you can tell a little better. Uh, maybe. So a lot of these wires are nicked. You just got wires exposed. I'm going to have to go and find all that, try to tape that up. I did take off the uh, a lot of the looms to where I could see what I had. And uh, the wires in the very back look pretty good. So. I'm just going to have to put the looms back on. I might tape these places like this. This is a factory connection. I'm going to tape it up. Tape up all these little bad parts. I got a new, a new sensor that goes right here. And that right, that controls the uh, idle, you know, cold start, all that. It's just a temperature switch that energizes that circuit when it's cold and that changes the timing on the fuel pump and of course this sensor here controls the uh, the glow plugs it works so I ain't got to mess with that I'm going to reroute the fuel lines I think if I can because I don't really like how the fuel's plumbed in but I may not be able to right easy so we got these three here, and I got one over here. As you can see, it's pretty well shot, so that one has to be replaced too. So we'll get work on that. I've got all the wiring hooked up. Now I'm going to my single tank. I did away with the dual tanks because that switch was bad, and I didn't want to spend a hundred dollars for a switch. So all that's wired up all the way to where it goes into the fuse block and I think all the wires are hooked up going to the back end so other than that we'll be ready to go well guys I got my starter on get all my wires made up here I got to do a little bit more securing but uh, I used just crampons instead of soldering and then I use the crampon with the uh, heat shrink on and then I got this and I got to get this battery cable secured and I, didn't have, I didn't run my loom down far enough but I got it attached up here got this loom on now I got to get the loom on that side done and I have lost my piece like this that went on that side. So I've got to find another piece. And I've got a piece here I don't know where it went where it went to. And that starter was it's a uh, high torque starter. Let's see. And uh, hopefully it'll be a good one. I don't know. Come off eBay. You never know about them kind. So, just got to do a little more wiring, uh, fixing up. And got 
A. These uh, fusible links done. And I use the, uh, the heat shrink on the ends on them too. <clears throat> I'm gonna get that on. I'm gonna have to pull this intake off to redo some uh, fuel plumbing. Plumbing. And uh, she won't like much to be ready to set the cab on. I kind of want to go ahead and. And I got a seal dripping right here on this shifter. I don't know how hard it is to change that seal out, but it would be nice to go ahead and do it now while the cab's sitting off of it. So, I'm going to try to find me a piece of, of uh, wiring loom. Put on that mess over there. And we'll go from there. Yeah, okay, got my wiring loom finished up. I did have to move this one from that other side, I realized that uh, that this connector here was two smalls and a large, and this one needed a small one, so I swapped them out. Put the big one on here, and I go back and put some electrical tape on there to keep it closed up. And I've got get a little short piece running right here. So next time, I'm going to be removing this intake manifold so I can get at that fuel pump up under there. I've got to replace the uh, the uh, temperature switch on that head over there. And after I get my fuel lines re-situated and I get finally a, uh, a uh, seal for this shifter, I kind of want to replace this switch here that tells us when you're in four-wheel drive but it appears that the whole end is gone off that well that's actually that looks like the uh, neutral safety switch is gone that's, I believe that's what that is neutral safety or the or the backup light either way that one's kaput I don't know what is it? I don't reckon I've even got a, a, a plug that fits in that. So don't worry about that. Get that and that and should be ready to get the cab set on here. And I don't know if I showed you I got the boot replaced on my clutch. I do want to replace the shocks. I've got new shocks for the front. But I'm gonna wait till I get my cab on here where I can get some of this stuff out of my way. Well till then guys take care.